plaintiff, Clarie Goins, says she was bullied her whole life for being biracial, and she had no friends until she met the defendant in high school. However, Clarie is suing because she claims the defendant sold a picture of her to a pornographic website without Clarie's consent. Defendant Chelsea Calendulary admits that people were cruel to Clarie in high school, and they clicked because they were both outcasts. Chelsea also admits that she sold Clarie's photo, but insists she had the right to do so, so she denies owing. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, um, so I met Chelsea back in high school when this was 10 years ago when we were both 15. Um, we actually grew really close to each other. We had a lot in common. We clicked instantly. Um, back in high school, middle school, my mom was actually passing away with cancer mm -hmm. and it made us click better because she had just went through the same thing earlier with her grandma. So she kind of knew what was going on and she understood and she was there for me. Um, the thing is, is like growing up my whole life, I was bullied for being mixed. My mom is white and my dad's African-American and- Where did it, you live? Where did you grow up? In Stockton, Lodi, California. Um, it was a huge issue to people back then. And I had no friends my whole back life. Back then, that was only a few years ago. Yeah, <laughs> I had no friends at all whatsoever. And meeting Chelsea, she made me feel really, really comfortable. She didn't you care. You had no friends? I had no friends. And did you all, you didn't fall out much at we all? We never if at fought, all? maybe very trivial things. Mm -hmm. um, things you get over when you're a girl, okay. it, it just happens. Um, we had the best relationship though. And when my mom did pass away, I clung to her really hard. Mm -hmm. um, I trusted her with everything my whole life, you know, that I knew her and we were just, really, really close and I respected her for that reason. Let we me went get some background from her, ma'am. Yes, we did meet in high school. We were both like the awkward kids, you know, I went to private school my whole life, came to public school at the end of my freshman year, kind of wondering what the heck is this, like culture shock, <laughs> um, but I was really excited to go. Um, Where did you grow up again? I grew up kind of like a lot of different places in California. I like to say Lodi is my hometown. Um, she is correct about the whole thing about people being real rude um, about certain things. Um, you know, some things are just kind of ugly. Um, and so there was no friction throughout no, the relationship? No, we actually have like a really amazing friendship. We feed off each other well. Um, it's actually one of those ones you're like, what the heck, what's wrong with you guys? Like you really just get over stuff, right? We do. Um, it's like a sisterhood. And- yeah. um, Except for this. Except now, for let's this. let's tell me what happened here. Um, yeah. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> So my mom actually got us into photography when we were younger, um, videotaping us all the time, taking pictures all the time. It was something that we grew together doing. It was a hobby of ours. Um, Chelsea actually got really, really into it and started doing it as a profession. Um, we would just find girls who were very uncomfortable with themselves, ones that had blemishes and flaws and they just didn't want to be seen on camera. We took them and we turned them around. We made them feel beautiful. She would do their hair and makeup because that's her profession. Yeah. And I bought a fancy camera and I thought it was super cool having it. And we had a lot of fun doing it, mm -hmm. but I feel like she kind of took it too far. She started doing lingerie shoots, nude shoots as well. Um, not me doing the nude shoots. Sorry. Yeah, not her, it just her clients. Um, she would edit them and post the ones that they were okay with and agreed to on her Instagram page mm -hmm. because she wanted a portfolio to show other people mm -hmm. what she could do. So far, sounds good. Yeah. And I agreed with her back in December of last year that I would take one of those photos. But I told her, I said, you cannot post this anywhere. What was the purpose? Just for myself to feel <laughs> Okay, pretty. to shoot it and give it to you. Exactly, just okay. to give it to me, right. me That's only. It. We're the only two people that can see it. Um, that is not how it went down. Okay. Um, just recently at work a few months ago, I'm an insurance agent, let me tell you mm -hmm. that now. I have a very serious profession. Mm -hmm. 
I had a client who came in and said that he had seen one of my photos. It was what? on a cam girl porn website. Your face? Yes. It said, register now to talk to lonely, wow. sexy singles. You have that? I do. And she put that on someone's website? On a porn website, let me tell you. To what? be clear, I only sold the picture. I did not do the editing. Sold it to who? To the company. The porno company? Well, they're, more, they're, they're a cam girl dating what type website. What is your understanding of what they did, the company? You know, have you heard like the dating websites and things Yeah, like that's that? what it is? You yeah. sold it to a dating website? Yeah, it just is an image. Just the image. Image to do what with? They come to me and they pick models. What did you understand they were going to do with her picture? Just literally use that it you as sold an image. to them without her permission. What was your understanding of their use? They wanted a picture of a beautiful girl to use as an image for advertisement for their dating site. Yes. All right. When you spoke with her, what did she say? She denied it. She said she didn't sell my photo. That Until she never when? Showed when did she admit it? She um, never admitted it. I actually had to send a DMCA notice telling her to take down my photo. She never admitted to it. Um, I was told by a client of okay, mine. Okay, let me hear from her now. Maybe she'll admit it. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, I did sell the photo. Mm -hmm. and That's all you have to say? Yeah. Pardon me? Yes. Okay, so why shouldn't you pay for defamation? That sounds like that is the case. Um, because I don't believe that I made her look in a, in a bad way, like this is the picture and all they did was add text on it. They do that for all sorts of commercials just because somebody has psoriasis and they sell them a lotion doesn't mean that, you know, like on the, on the picture. You do it with their permission. Yeah, that's true, but. Yeah, you didn't. No, I didn't ask for permission, but she knows what I do for a living. No, did she approve you selling her picture to a sex site? Not verbatim, no. Oh, there you go. That's what you needed to hear from her. You can sell my picture. In the meantime, uh, you have ruined her reputation. And so today I'm going to conclude this did put you in a bad light. And she had no right, no approval f to publish your photo for financial gain. So I'm going to grant you $3,500. Good luck to you. Have a good day. Um, she'll always be my best friend. I love her dearly. I'll always be there for her, but I don't know if I can trust her. I feel like this was more of a, a pocket ache than a heartache. Me and her have a really sick, twisted sense of humor towards each other, so I feel like this was a little Nothing much. that has will ruin my career, though. This is something that I can definitely lose my license over and looked at as a prostitute. It's never been this far.